work and no La more makes Laura La dull girl. <laughs> Poor boo. Thanks. Poor goodbye. Laura, ever since you declared your love for me, I've been the happiest carbon-based multi-cell life form this side of the Milky Way. Steve, I declare my love for you. When you started seeing Myra, you stopped coming over here. And amazingly, I sort of missed you, but only as a friend. Well, you know, friendship is the first step. Do you know what comes next? A restraining order. <laughs> well, actually, I was thinking we could start a dating. Each other? Well, don't say yes yet. <laughs> Let me a woo you first. And a woo I will. I'm gonna woo's been wooed since the dawn of woo <laughs> Hit it, boys! Question is, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Will you go out with me? No. <laughs> Steve, this is so sweet. I'm really touched. You are? Yeah. Now get him out of here. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Harriet, you know, you always do this. This is some sadistic game. How long can we make Carl wait for his dindin? Well, Carl wants his dindin now, now. All righty. Are you ready to go or do you need more time to yell? I don't understand what takes you so long. I have been home for 20 minutes and look at me. Stunning. You, on the other hand, have been up there for an hour and a half. Sensational. Carl, it takes me longer because I have to do my hair. Oh. Oh, like... You said it, not me. What, 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 what? what? Look. You can't compare a woman who has a full head of hair to a man who doesn't. Are you saying, Harriet, that uh, I'm losing my hair? Oh, it's not lost. It's in the bottom of the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's so hilarious, Harriet. <laughs> Maybe it's comedy club. Maybe it's open mic night. Oh, come on, Carl. Lighten up. Well, I'm sorry. I happen to be a little sensitive about my receding hairline. Relax. Your hairline is not receding. It's gone. <laughs> money. Hey, Waldo, could you loan me five bucks? I'm a little short. Hey, you can borrow all you want any taller. <laughs> Hello, my sexy Steven. <laughs> Myra, what are you doing here? I couldn't bear the thought of you filling this hard body with cafeteria swill. Well, I'm so bad. Today's special is, I can't believe it's not pork. <laughs> keep it on, keep it on. No, 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 you come with me. Lovely picnic. Man, when well, you look at that, a beautiful girl thinks Steve Urkel is sexy. Wow. 
First, mom spots Elvis at the car wash. Now it is. Julianne, glad you're here, Myra. We really need to discuss our relationship. And it seems to me I smell olive loaf. Layered with a playfully pungent gouda on pumpernickel toast. <laughs> oh, goody, gouda! I know. And for dessert, mouth hand outie! Oh, oh Myra, stop it, stop it. We have to talk. Certainly. What's on that enormous mind of yours? No, it is enormous. <laughs> I just can't live a lie, Butterbottom. I care for you deep. I'm in love with another woman, Laura Winslow. Oh, Stephen, you're so cute when you're wrong. <laughs> Cheese? You mean I'm wrong. Laura Winslow has played you like a fiddle. She's got you so mixed up that you actually think that you love her, but you don't. I don't? No. There's only one woman for you, Stephen. Hugh Urkel. Hugh, I cheat. Well, so how's it going, Barry? Great. We're going to turn some heads. You think? Trust me, people are going to notice Carl Winslow. Oh. Hand me a mirror, I'm dying to see what I look like. Whoa! Well, Barry, I, I, I look like Rick James. Oh, yes. It... Here, try it with the hat. Well, uh... well, now I look like Rick James's chauffeur. Dude, it's Rick James. No, it's not. It's my dad. Wow, your dad is Rick James? Uh, Barry, this is my son, Edward, and his brilliant friend, Waldo. Hey, cool bumper sticker on your van. I break for baldies. I really do. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Winslow, mm. my uncle Aldo f <laughs> But he didn't want to cough up the cash for a tooth, so he achieved a hair-like effect with a pet. A pet? Yeah, a real steel on his head. Carl, shall we try another toupee? Uh, my head is in your hands. Wake me. <laughs> The little vixen is stuck on me like bicycle pants on Delta Bird. Laura Winslow, you brazen barracuda. Here we go again. I walk all the way over here for my private school to lunch with my honey bunch. And what, my arrival? You're seducing him with soggy fish sticks. Okay, it's official. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> Steve Urkel steams my broccoli. Stay away or you're gonna get burned. Okay, that's it. I've had just about enough. <laughs> oh, you have? I've tried to be nice. Mm -hmm. I've tried to be patient, but you don't respond to subtleties, so I'm just gonna have... You are a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> huge pain, huge butt. Ooh. <laughs> Say, bring for a brownie? My treat. 
want an apology. For what? Just for being you. Oh, I will, however, apologize for the mashed potatoes in your hair. What mashed potatoes? Uh. <laughs> oh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> accepted. Now I really must apologize for the jello down your blouse. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ladies, ladies, this misuse of food is reprehensible. I do find it strangely exhilarating. <laughs> Gee, Laura, all I think has probably made you very thirsty. How about a nice cold milkshake on me? <laughs> or better yet, on you. <laughs> Myra, you look like you're ready for dessert. Oh. Have a nice piece of cherry pie. No, no, no. got cafeteria duty for the next two weeks. Thanks to you, I've been grounded for the next two weeks, you cheeky man stealer. You get a call struggle. I won't back away. <laughs> lady, the lady, the lady, the lady, the lady. Stop it, stop it, I say. Now this has gone far enough. Now look, this is a good problem, and it requires a bizarre and twisted solution. Fortunately, that's my area of expertise. <laughs> You've got a plan? I intend to resume dating Myra. Yes. <laughs> Nothing serious. Just hand holding, pet names, and occasional kisses. Oh. <laughs> Put it in park, Myra. <laughs> now look, I want everything out of the open. So here's fair warning. Friends with Laura. And if she gives me the slightest inkling that I can win her heart, I'm gone, baby. <laughs> I understand. I accept those terms. Hey, I'm thrilled. Munderbar. Nah. How's about you two lovelies bury the hatchet? Come on. <laughs> Damn to me, gals. I think we're gonna be... Steve will never go back to you, Laura. Once he's been to Tahiti, now why would he settle for Coney Island? <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Myra. You know, it's always nice to see a plump girl find a man. <laughs> Well, maybe not good buddies. <laughs> Let's go, Stephen. You want to skip school today? <gasps> and to blemish my 11-year perfect attendance record? <gasps> we can now. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even spill my soda. <laughs> well, what?
What do you think? Nice. Hey, Ansel. Weird. <laughs> he grew a full head of hair. Richie, let's go fix the supper. How do you grow hair that fast? Because he ate all his vegetables. <laughs> so, Harriet, really? So oh, it's just fine. Huh? Just fine. Really? Really, really fine. I particularly like the profile, don't you? There it is, hair, from the side. <laughs> Harriet. Huh? What, what, Carlos, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I have to get used to it. Used to it? Well, gee, you make it sound like chronic back pain. Well, well, me by surprise. I had no idea you wanted a toupee. Remember the other night you made fun of my hair? Honey, I didn't mean it. It was just a thoughtless... Oh, you wouldn't have said it if you hadn't noticed. Well, of course I noticed. Just like I'm sure you noticed that I'm getting a little gray and that I have these little... Listen. If you want to keep this toupee because it makes you feel better, then that's great. But don't do it for me. Because I love just the way you are. Okay? Mm. To tell you the truth, I feel kind of silly in this thing. And it smells like my Aunt Mary's sheepdog. <laughs> Let's go, handsome. Right behind you, beautiful. <laughs> I was so excited about the cheerleading competition that I couldn't get to sleep. And then when I finally did, I overslept. I'm coming, Rod. Don't worry, I'll save you. Open the door. Hang on, my pet. Steve Virgil to the rescue. Good. Steve, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, let me clean up that mess. No, 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 no. No, I'll get it later. Laura, why did you scream? Well, I haven't heard such a cry of horror since I showed you that picture of me in Speedo. <laughs> Oh, please, I haven't had my coffee yet. I don't believe this. My cheer squad makes the Midwest cheerleading finals for the first time ever, and I miss my buddy. Take me. Dad. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I have to go on stakeout. Oh, 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 oh. Mom. Honey, I can't miss work without being docked. Oh, 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 oh. Eddie. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. The E Man's baby mobile is in the sh. Steve? Yes? Will you drive me to Cincinnati? My pleasure, baby cakes. I'll go get dressed, and you go do something with that hair. And we'll run... The Isetta? That's what I said. <laughs> A little faster, please. We're getting dirty looks from old people. <laughs> Why are you turkey flying, Mama? Look at how fast those telephone poles are whizzing by. <laughs> Ooh, I got whiplash. <laughs> No more polka music until we get to Cincinnati, okay? All right, no more polka music. Wow! 
I'm going to Cincinnati. Cincinnati, here I come. Stop it, Steve. They got some crazy love. I'm not going to get me one. <laughs> Chance, Steve. Well, I might take a train. Steve. I might take a train. Steve. But anyway, they're just the same. Hey! If you sing one more note, I'm gonna turn your upper lip into a hat. A little cranky, aren't we? Might I suggest more fiber in your diet? I'm gonna take a nap. Would you like to rest that luscious noggin on our friendly shoulder? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, Harriet. Yes, Carl. Behold, the window is fixed. The window that you said I couldn't repair, Harriet. Well... You said I couldn't do the job. But, oh, Harriet, I fixed the window. Me, 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 me. <laughs> now, what do you have to say to that? I'm proud of you, Carl. You did a good job. Well, thank you. I deserve it. <laughs> Call the repairman, Carl. <laughs> Ooh, Mother Winslow, that pen is beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Fletcher gave it to me. Oh, well, what's the occasion? Just and I love you present. A what? I want her to know I care. Well, why didn't you just tell her? You could have saved the bundle. <laughs> Somebody else want to talk? He feels every day. He leaves love notes. He left it in there? No. no. <laughs> I'm keeping it close to my heart. Thy kiss, dear maid, thy lip has left, shall never part from mine, till happier hours restore the untainted back to thine. Huh? That's Lord Byron, Carl. Oh, 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 I knew that. I have all his albums. Sense of happy area weather. Partly cloudy with a chance of showers or thunder showers. Oh, uh, wow. Sleepy, man. It's back from... How far away are we? I just saw a sign. Cincinnati, 50 miles. Oh, great, that means... Yep, we'll be there in two and a half hours. Look, I have a headache, a crick in my neck, it's a small car, and you're in it. Please speed up. But I'm going the matching speed for this vehicle. Any faster would be risky. Let's just take that risk. Let's just get there. Why am I Have you taken leave of your senses? How fast are we going now? The thing wins. Oh, I don't know. Up to 30. Oh, oh, please. Oh, oh, no. My car. My car. Did I do that? Then you're gonna get pneumonia. <laughs> have something I can borrow for the night? Oh, look. There must be something I could burn afterwards. <laughs> Here. Be back in the kitchen. Take your time. <laughs> Did you get a hold of your mom's and pop? No, the phone's dead. So, what? St 
believe the first run of the competition starts at 10 a.m. I have to be there. Don't fret my head. The car will be ready. Luckily, the gas station's fair hot. Wow, a complimentary shower cap. Things are looking up. <laughs> looking up? First a bus. Now I'm stuck in the Bates Motel with a dead phone and no TV. <laughs> things are not looking up. In fact, things couldn't possibly get... Ready to hit the sink? <laughs> I spoke too soon. Well, <clears throat> sleep well. I will, honey. Fletch is going to give me a full body massage. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Believe me, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Let's go, pumpkin. After you, sweet stuff. <laughs> How about a piggyback ride? No, you're too heavy. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Do you believe those two? Yeah, I couldn't stomach another minute of that. <laughs> All that lovey-dovey stuff. It's embarrassing. I think it's sweet. They're in love and they're not afraid to show it. Show me bludgeon people with it. <laughs> oh, after you, pumpkin. Oh, no, after you, sweet stuff. For crying out loud, somebody get their butt in a Honda. <laughs> oh, Carl, stop it. Instead of making fun of Fletch and your mother, you... And what's that supposed to mean? It means it would be nice to know how you feel about me. Oh, come on, Harriet. I tell you I love you all the... Yes, you do. But only when we're alone. I'd appreciate it if you'd say it in front of people.
have to sleep on the floor. Oh, no can do. I'm allergic to cheap shag. Ten minutes on this orange atrocity and I'd begin to choke to death. <laughs> It'll keep me awake. Very funny. Look, you've got this big bed. Why can't we just share? The share, cozy. <laughs> Forget it, Steve. Well, then where am I gonna sleep? I don't know, and frankly, I'm tired of thinking about it, so why don't you just grab a bathtub? But, ma, I think... Go! Overslept Miss Rip Van Winslow. I tried to help you. Pardon me. Then I drove you here in my car. And were you pleasant company? No. Steve. I'm not through. <laughs> and you broke my car. And it cost me every cent I got to fix it and rent this delightful room here at the flea bag inn. Steve, if you. Oh, Missy. <laughs> Look, I loved you with all my heart. But just because you don't love me back doesn't give you the right dirt. I'm a person, and I have feelings, and I demand to be treated with respect and dignity. You're right. What? <laughs> You're absolutely right. I'm the one who messed up. But I've been taking it out on you. You were afraid, and all I did was complain. I'm really sorry, Steve. Will you forgive me? Well, okay. <laughs> Good night, Steve. Wait a minute, where are you going? You take the bed, I'll sleep in the tub. Oh, hold it, Laura. This is silly. Be adult about this. We have a double bed and two people. You sleep under the covers, and I'll sleep on top of the covers. And never the twin... All right, it's a deal. Steve. And what you doing? Oh, I'm just putting... Your nerves are shot. What do you want, Steve? Ah, to invite you and the entire Winslow clan over to my house next Saturday for Urkel Hoedowns. Interested? Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> well, are you sure? Dad'll throw a possum on the ground out the hillbilly garb, and we'll all do the crawdad boogie. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Well, thanks for coming by. Now, well, I'll toss this right back up. That shelf is stuffed to capacity. It won't hold any more weight. Carl, that's a beach ball. A few ounces. A moment from that shelf. <laughs> a weight that boggles the mind. I don't want an argument. Arguing? I mean, it's just common sense that a beach ball doesn't compare. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll put the beach ball up on the shelf. And Eve, okay? 
Hey, it's Sue Casa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you did. <laughs> of times. Well, yes, but you didn't mean it. Well, I do now. Now go. I can't ever come back. Not until I invite you. And do you know when... When hell freezes over? <laughs> when hell freezes over and the devil gives... <laughs> Hey, Dad. What's up? Well, look who's here. Pidwainies. <laughs> hey, Mr. Winslow. Hmm? You should plug in that lamp so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> the lamp is broken. To fix it. <laughs> well, if it's unplugged... How it's fixed. <laughs> Heidi, how? Can I come in, Carl? No. Well, I'm just hoping you can mend our fences. Let bygones be bygones. No way. Forget it. Fat chance. Look before you leave. It takes one to know one. And we do chicken right. Your turn, lady. <laughs> Carl, I'm no expert, but you got bare wire touching the metal base of that lamp. You're, you're no expert. Now scram. All right, I'll go. Ta da! What's with those stuff? Hang up! Is his heart beating? I don't think so. Oh my God, Steve, I don't think he's breathing. All right, he's not breathing, and he doesn't have a pulse. Edo, call 911. Waldo, and go to Carl's police bag and get me his first aid kit. Oh, I took a CPR class a couple of years ago. I just hope I remember everything. I tilted his head back, and I and I cleared his air passage, and, and now it's time for mouth to mouth. Okay, now we have to try and make his heart beat. Come on, heartbeat. Oh, oh. The ambulance is on his way. How's he doing? Oh. Oh, nothing, Steve. He's still not breathing. Carl, please, we're getting worried. Come back to us, okay? Please, Dad. Oh, big guy, big guy. Dad. Edward? Dad, you're alive. Hey, Ed, want me to boil some water? <laughs> Although that's for babies. Oh, like making a phone call so macho. <laughs> what happened? Why am I on the floor? Easy, Dad. Shocked from that lamp and you stopped breathing. I did? Yeah, and Steve gave you CPR. He did? Steve Urkel saved my life? Well, I don't know about that. I mean... Yes, you did. Face it, dude, if you hadn't given no CPR, he would have died. You're a hero. Well, gosh, I guess I am. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't know what doom. He's the only one that knows what to do. I'm all right. I'm okay. Thanks to the world's best neighbor, Steve Urkel. Oh, yeah. so smart. Come on, Oh, thanks, Winslow. Ooh, such a fuss. Oh, Steve, you deserve every bit of it. You say safe. You are an exceptional young man. Oh, you're just saying it because it's true. <laughs> Uncle Carl, can I bring you to show and tell? Hi. Well, none of the kids in my class have ever seen an almost dead guy. <laughs> I'll think about it, Richie. I have something I'd like to say to Steve. Would you all please excuse us for a moment? Sure thing. Come on, everybody. Come on. <clears throat> Steve, you're invited for dinner. I... And I'll fix you whatever you want. <gasps> what are you in the mood for? Oh, let's see. There isn't enough time to pickle an elk. <laughs> Steve, a good old-fashioned pot roast. Well, gee, you sure you want to tempt death twice in one day? <laughs> <laughs> pot roast will be fine. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Carl. Well, Steve, I yelled at you. I, I told you to stay away from me. And then you saved my life. I owe you an apology. I see. Well, there, I feel better. <laughs> <clears throat> what? You said you owe me an apology, but you've given me an apology. Just thought I'd point that out for the record. <laughs> oh, okay. Here goes. <clears throat> Steve? Yes? I'm... I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. Man, was that so bad? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Steve, the fact is, I'm, I'm very, very grateful. How can I show my appreciation? Well, you could lift the Urkel ban and allow me to come over anytime I want. Wouldn't you rather have money? I have money. Oh, no. <laughs> Why, I want quality time with my favorite cat pop. Okay. <laughs> Steve, you can come over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can come over here anytime. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a pleasant surprise. Are they keeping you happy, Pappy? <laughs> oh, I'll get that. No, oh, no, no, no. Clean it up. It was my fault. I was clumsy. Well, you know, you shouldn't push yourself over it. Accidents can't happen. <laughs> See? Case in point. I'll clean it up. No, no, let me clean uh, that up. No, no, give it to me. I'll clean okay. it up. No, 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 no. Clean it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are those pants new? Not really. I've had them almost a week now. Just a minute. Watch out. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> but the shirt, that was new. Uh, I like it. it. It used to be a good color right now. Steve, why don't you just take a seat while I clean up this little mess? Good plan, my man. Mm -hmm. I'm in that chair. <laughs> Sticky. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ew.
You okay? I just can't keep it happening to Dad out of my mind, Laura. I know. I keep thinking about it, too. I almost lost him. Yeah. He really needed me. And I didn't know what to do. It's okay, Eddie. The CPR class. But thank God for Steve. He really came through. Hi, guys. Oh, your pop wants a pop. We're varnishing the patio furniture. Man's work. <laughs> Steve? Yes, my... What you did was... I mean, the way you... Thanks for saving my daddy. <laughs> Varnish. <laughs> Just go take off these clothes. Need some help? I'm not that <laughs> Farewell, oh mistress of beauty. Hey, Steve. Look, me and the guys in concert next week. Uh, you want to come with us? This is a trick, right? We all get in the car, then you drop me off at the cemetery. <laughs> no, man, I'm serious. Well, I know. Since when are you willing to be... Since you saved my father's life. Look, Steve, you're a nerdy, annoying dweeb. <laughs> but after what you did, the least I could with you. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm all choked up. <laughs> Carl, we need to know. About what? Well, I just finished talking to Eddie, and I realized that it's okay for you to be angry at me. No, it isn't. You, you saved my life, and I'm supposed to be grateful. Well, Carl, you're grateful for what I did, and I'm grateful I was able to do it. But we have a bill, and we have to honor that bond by always being honest with each other. In what way? Well, when you get angry with me, I... I want you to express your true feelings, okay? Okay, I'll try. I'll start by expressing one of mine. When I was giving... I was really scared. Well, that's only natural. But I wasn't scared for you. I was scared for me. Because I honestly can't imagine my life without you. Carl, you're the finest man I've ever... I loved you. Thank you, Steve. You're the best big guy. You're okay. <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> you to express your true feelings. Are you sure? I... If you're angry with me, well, let it out. Okay. Here it goes. You! That's it. Open the floodgates. You! Bumbling! Fumbling! Idiot! Excellent. Keep it coming. Get out! Oh, you can do better than that. Get out! Oh, that's a little better. Remember what you did yesterday? You hugged me. I did? A valdist. Out of gratitude for saving your father's life. Are you gored me with, say, a juicy kiss? <laughs> Steve, didn't you tell my father that you nice to you out of gratitude? Well, yes, but... You want people to express their true feelings, right? Oh, but don't miss... Oh, in that case, I'm gonna tell you what I really think of you. Oh. I'm a nerdy, annoying dweeb, right? Right. And I'm very lucky.
tell faux pas. Steve, you don't have to carry my books for me. Oh, no, I want to. Besides, carrying extra books helps increase my awesome... <laughs> Does this get you all hot and bothered? Well, one of those. Well, here, check out my bell toy group. <laughs> Myra? Hello, Stephen. Laura. Well, what are you doing here? A private school. Not anymore. I just transferred here. Well, you did? Why? Because this school has something my other school doesn't. Well, what's that? You suspenders. <laughs> Look, I know we've gone out a few times, but... Don't you think transferring to my school is just a big pushy? Well, I'm just protect from hungry eyes and sticky fingers. <laughs> Student, Myra Monkhouse. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Vanderbilt, Miss Monkhouse. Thank you, sir. Where's Sapientissimus Etiama Habet? <laughs> That's Latin, for the wisest man has something yet to learn. And he calls himself a... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good one. Grab a seat, Miss Monkhouse. Oh, uh, gee, I'd read to Steve Urkel. Is there anyone near him willing to give up their seat? <laughs> <laughs> wearing a little thin, don't you think? Of all the stupid, I can't believe the nerve of that jerk. Harry, is something bothering you? Be grumpy, I'm not grumpy. <laughs> okay, fine. But from over here, it sounds a little like grumpy. Uh, I have a problem. You want me to cut my staff by two people? Why? Budget cutbacks. The order came down from the director of operations, Fred Rollins. The man has a time clock for a heart. Rollins. Rollins. Have I met him? Yeah. Last year at the Christmas party. Remember you volunteered to be Santa? But well, Fred was the one that said they didn't have time to let up. <laughs> oh, yeah. He is a jerk. Carl, I don't know who to let go. Everyone on my... Well, maybe you should stand up to him. Tell Fred that when times are tough, the last thing you should cut is security. Yeah. Yeah. Tell old Freddy boy that when people will pay them back by firing them. That's right. I'm not firing anyone. Good for you, honey. And I'm sorry you have to go through this. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. So, feel like making dinner now? <laughs> well... Let me carry his books. Ooh, lucky you. <laughs> Waldo? What's up? Today. You mean this class is every day? <laughs> yes. I wish people would make it here all summer. <laughs> Okay, your assignment for today was to memorize a humorous poem. Who would like to recite theirs first? <laughs> Go ahead, don't be shy. Anyone? Anyone at all? Okay, Mr. Urkel. Go ahead. I'll need a short warm up. the duck by Ernest Vincent Wright. We all look on with anxious eyes. 
When father carves the duck. And mother almost always sighs. When father... <laughs> then we all prepare to rise and hold our bibs before our eyes and be prepared for some surprise. When father carves the duck. <laughs> the platter's always sure to slip. <laughs> when father carves the duck. And how it makes the dishes skip. And potatoes fly, wash, and cabbage leap into space. We get some gravy in our face and father mutters, Hindu grace, when air. He carves the duck. Thank you, Miss. Oh, yes, you are. Bravo. Bellissimo. Oh, thank you, thank you. And to think that was done without a proper warm up. Figures Urkel would do a poem about ducks. He walks, talks, and laughs like a duck. <laughs> I dare absolutely not whatsoever. You're right. A duck dresses better. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down, class. Stop that snickering. I'm sick and tired of your Urkel bashing. Miss Monkhouse, please. No, let me finish, Walt. I've heard some of you refer to Stephen with a certain derogatory word. A horrible word. A word that is better left unsaid. <laughs> Stephen is not a nerd. He's handsome and intelligent and... Oh, just let me cut to the chase. Me bad sexy. <laughs> Steve is the wind in my sails, the polish on my nails. Makes me glad to be alive. He shifts my heart into overdrive. Wow. I'm not here much, but I give her an A. <laughs> Oh, so are you all. <laughs> oh, no, me amore. Hi, Carl. Hey, what's the matter, you? I... Oh, Fred Rollins? He wanted to know which employees I decided to let go. I told him no one. Great. What? He said you're fired. What? I lost my job, Carl. 23 years. And they let me go. Honey. Oh, no, no. Ooh, I bet that's Maxine. She got one of those trashy lingerie catalogs in the mail, and she thinks one of the models is our homeroom teacher. Myra. Good day, Laura. Oh, it's not very often I get to say this, but uh, Steve's not here. I'm here to see you. Oh? I realize that we've had our problems in the past, but I was hoping that we could, well, pinky truce. <laughs> pinky truce? So long darkness led in the light, I won't fuss in a... <sighs> Now, would you like to say it back to me? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. <laughs> but please. Hello, Edward. Hi, Myra. One apple? Oh, I couldn't. I just stuffed myself with mung bean. Steve says it's a natural colon brew. <laughs> he would know. <laughs> Bye. No, 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 wait. I need your advice, too. After all, you are Steve's best friend. <laughs> I'm his only friend. So what's the problem, Myra? Well... Stephen and I have had three glorious nights on the town. Unfortunately, he's behaved like the perfect gentleman. Unfortunately? Yes. Luscious lips pressed hotly against mine. <laughs> <laughs> Myra? Yes. <Okay. laughs> Just a little aloe vera juice. To help move along the mung bean. <laughs> Wait a minute. I gotta sit down. You actually want Steve to kiss you? Girl, I'm hurting for it. Well, I could see how kissing Steve and pain do go hand in hand. Well, Myra, maybe you just need to turn him on a little bit. Yeah, what are you going to... The usual places. Movies, restaurants, the Polka Hall of Fame. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe that's your problem. Those are all puzzles. So? Well, Steve's an old-fashioned guy, and in some ways, he's an extremely shy person. Yeah. I mean, he won't even get undressed in front of his dog. <laughs> Nervous about showing affection in public. Of course. Of course. 
first, I need to get my little flamingo legs alone. <laughs> I think that's the mung bean talking. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know exactly what to do now. <laughs> I'll invite Stephen over for an intimate rendezvous, and as sure as God makes little green apples, my lips will be doing push-ups against his. <laughs> that is one sick puppy. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. What you doing? Putting together a job resume. Yeah, sweetheart, you know, I feel really bad. I mean, you wouldn't have gotten fired if you hadn't listened to my advice. Carl, I'm glad I took your advice. Really? What? Kids over and over. Don't slam the toilet seat? <laughs> no. We've told them to always stand up for what they believe in. I stuck and I feel good about it. You know something, Mrs. Winslow? I am proud of you. You are a strong lady, and I am very lucky to have you. Thank you, Carl. Stevie, would you mind setting up those chairs? Oh, certainly, my dainty daffodil. time we've ever really been alone together? Really? Why don't we adjourn to the hammock? likes me. <laughs> Hammock? I think it's only fair to warn you that Hammocks and I don't get... Oh, you just need a little practice. Come on now. Put it right here. Well... Then you join me. Okay. Hey. Good. <laughs> join me? Okay. okay. <sighs> Isn't 
isn't this a romantic full moon and a sky full of stars? Oh, oh look, over there, Gemini, the twins. Oh, oh and over there, Pisces. Kiss me. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> I want you to kiss me. Oh, my. Don't you want to? Well, uh, very much, actually. Then like the commercial says, just do it. Okie dokie. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. What's the matter? Well, if I kissed you, I'd be taking advantage of you. How? Well, I told you before, I enjoy being with you, but I don't want you. I'm in love with Laura Winslow. you before I don't care but doesn't loving one person and kissing another make me a selfish shallow pleasure-seeking cad only if you were trying to take advantage of me but my eyes are wide open and they'll stay wide open until the moment you kiss me then close them peepers baby <laughs> how's their engine and they're coming in for a landing <laughs> period of 180 years. The angle of separation is... <laughs> You're dreaming of Steve Urkel. <laughs> you yearn to be held by his strong, manly arm. <laughs> Your lips burn for his kiss. <laughs> Less than it was earlier in this century because the two stars are moving closer to the same line of sight. <laughs> I'm so tired. Well, lately you always are, baby breath. Like just yesterday, you fell asleep in class. Not while you're writing on the blackboard. <laughs> now look, something's cooking good looking. Spill it. Mind your own business, Steve. Now go ahead. Double stars. Some pairs, such as Gamma Arietis, have the same spectral type for both components, but others are distinguished by their beautifully contrasting... <laughs> Thank you. Mm, Mother Winslow, are these from scratch? Absolutely. At least that's what the rapper says. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, <sighs> why are you so tired? Oh, I guess I'm not getting enough sleep at school. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ma. I gotta go study. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Over to all those. But don't you remember? Tonight is the night we agreed to work on our stamp collection. I thought those mom had plastic surgery, and I'm invited to her welcome home party. Oh, what did she have done? A fanny lift. <laughs> Head over knees this time. <laughs> He's hit and fumble. Yeah. Singletary picks it up. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. The Bears win. Damn it. Well, gentlemen. Congratulate me and my man Waldo. We are now styling on Easy Street. <laughs> oh, Tell him, Waldo. No, sir. Why not? I have no idea what you're talking about. The betting. Oh, cool. We're betting. Betting? How much did you guys win? Well, this is our second week, and we're already up 380 big ones. All right. How much is my half? 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> 380 is serious money. Yeah, Frankie the Fish says it's beginner's luck, but I keep telling him we got a system. You know, I kind of wish now that I'd gone in with you guys. Hey, it's not too late to see... Now, aren't you aware that sports gambling is illegal in these United States, except for Nevada and certain specified municipalities, including Atlantic City and Indian Reservation, which aren't subject to federal... 
Hey, look, Urkel, you can't call what we're doing gambling. Gambling implies a risk. With my system, there is no risk. Well, what's your system? Do you compare team rosters, compute previous game history, factor in player injuries, weather conditions, and home team advantage? No, we bet on the team of women. <laughs> you know, I'm really gonna hate myself for asking this. What the hell do ugly women have to do with football? Think about it. Wouldn't you be a lot meaner if you came from a city full of ugly women? I was right. I hate myself. Yo, guys, I'm tempted, but I'm broke. I mean, I don't have any money to bet. Ah, but you bet by phone. Place the bet to pick up the cash. <laughs> yeah, but what if I lose? It ain't gonna happen. But in the unlikely event that it does... <laughs> like we were forced to do with my mom. <laughs> You're letting greed cloud your better judgment. Now, it pains me to say this, but if you join these hooligans in their nefarious endeavor, you can kiss our friendship goodbye. Guys, I'm in. Houston, 17. Oh, I told you so. And in San Francisco, the 49ers, Los Angeles Rams, 21 to zip. Yeah. I told you so. And finally, a big surprise, in Miami, scored the Jets 31 to 14. Yeah. Until the fourth quarter when the Jets scored three touchdowns to win the game. Bobby, I told you so, but... I told you so. Steve, I just lost a whole lot of money. The last thing I need is a door. <gasps> Nerd! Wow, this conversation is finished. I'll be in the kitchen sipping a soda until you apologize. <laughs> this terrible tell you. Weasel, your betting system bites. Twelve games and lost ten of them. May I remind you that we also won two games, Mr. Glass is half empty? Hey, I want an Indian name too. <laughs> I don't believe this. We each lost 250 bucks in a single afternoon. Weasel. Huh? I'm gonna have to take you up on that offer, man. <laughs> you know, you told me if I lost, you'd cover me. Well, I lost. Hey, look, man, all right, I did say that, but um, um, Francis have conspired to alter my current financial portfolio. <laughs> oh. Gentlemen, I just got off the phone with your bookie. You called Frankie the fish? I took pity on your plight and pulled your fannies out of the fire. How? Huh. Well, I simply explained to him that although your bets were made in good, no way in H-E double hockey sticks you'll ever pay a single cent. Steve, if you tell a guy like Frankie the Fish you're not going to pay, you end up... Don't be such a nervous Nelly. It was a bargaining ploy. Well, once Frankie calmed down, I suggested that we even plan. Well, he just jumped at that suggestion and immediately beat his field representative, who incidentally might drop by the house. Move and you die. The boo -boo. Hey guys, where you going? You're the largest person I've ever seen. You should see my mother. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she's lovely. I'm like giving me a wedgie. <laughs> now, I'm Steve Urkel, and you are... Bones. Ah, 
my bones. Ain't seen the doctor on Star Trek? No. Bones as... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you. You two can leave. Oh, uh, look. We're all in this together. Right, guys? Later. Later. <laughs> uh, sir, I'd love to pay you, but I honestly don't have the money right now. <laughs> I'd love to let you off the hook. But I honestly have to peel you like a grape right now. Hey, just a minute. Now, this is my friend. And if you intend to go through me... Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we've learned that you can back yours up. Now, wouldn't you agree that a healthy Eddie could pay you back much faster than a bloody, twisted, broken one? What point? Now, I propose an easy payment plan. Give my friend time to arrange financing. Say, six months. 24 hours. Works. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. And if you don't have the cash, we're going to hold a scavenger hunt for your body parts. Uh, that apple is wax. I know. I'm a dead man. I can't come up with 250 bucks by tomorrow. Steve, can't you help me out? No, oh, I can't, Dad. I spent all my money on a muscle building kit. And I'm still trying to get the box open. Man, what am I gonna. Well, why don't you just go to your father? Fess up, Edo, and take your punishment like a man. Nah. Dad is already upset with me for not helping him out with our stamp collection. Uh-oh. I smell a... Oh, huh. You see this stamp? It's a 1923 Head of Freedom statue stamp. It's worth a... <gasps> you what? Look, I could sell this stamp, pay off bones, Work some overtime at Mighty Weenie, buy the stamp back, and put it back without anyone ever knowing. At all, and it'll haunt you for the rest of your life. Yeah, but at least I'll have a life. At all, don't take that stamp. At <gasps> out that door. At <laughs> all, don't get in that car. Where have you been? Oh, uh, oh, I couldn't sleep, so I thought a nice brisk walk would help. Waiting here for three and a half hours. A long brisk walk? <laughs> I've been worried sick about you. Were, what you were doing, or if you were okay. I can explain. Well, then let's hear it. Where were you? <sighs> Starlight Coffee Shop. I'm a waitress there. I work the midnight to 4 a.m. shift. Laura, you already have an after-school job. Why on second job? Oh, well, Mom's saving up to buy a car. I can get it a lot faster if I work two jobs. Well, when do you sleep? Oh, I don't. I don't need sleep. I just carry this water spritz. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, you're not a fern. You need sleep. You're spreading yourself too thin and it's very unhealthy. I just wanted to earn the money on my own. You guys are giving me so much already. I just wanted to show you I could be responsible about... Laura, you're the most responsible teenager I know. But sneaking out of the house at all responsible. You're gonna quit that job. Okay. Father, we're going to help you with that car. But you don't have to. That's right. We don't have to. We want to. Because...
Hey, Dad. Hey, son. Uh, what are you doing? Take a look at the old stamp collection. You know, the one that you don't have time for anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I, I have some time now. Wow, what a collection. <laughs> hey, 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 Dad, do you want to go shoot some hoops? <laughs> Dad, there, there's something I have to tell you. Oh, really? What is it? Well, it's about our head of freedom statue. Oh, yes. <clears throat> there she is. She is? She is. Oh. What did you want to tell me, son? Oh, uh, j just that, that I love you. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Night. Edward? Yes? You know, I thought that you were going to tell me that you sold our head of free to the Stamp Emporium for $300. No. I just think that I love you. <laughs> and hope that you keep it in mind. Come over here, Edward, and sit down. Talk to me, son. Let me hear the words. Well, on some football games. Mm-hmm. And, and then I lost 250 bucks to a bookie named Frankie the Fish. And then, and then I sold our stamp to, so I wouldn't get beat up by a really big guy named Bones. Edward, why didn't you just come? Well, because I was afraid you'd yell at me, Dad. What do you mean, like this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Exactly like that. My head hurts. Son, you've made some mistakes with... I thought that you had learned your lesson. Well, I thought so too, Dad. But we also had a surefire betting system. Oh, really? What was it? On the teams whose cities had the ugliest women. <laughs> My head hurts again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just be quiet. Very good idea. Edward, son, when you make a mistake, you fess up to it. If you try to cover it up, it's only... Yes, sir. Now, if you had come to me right away... You might have only been grounded for a week or so. But now, you'll be lucky if you make little... Ouch. Well, Dad, just tell me how you found out about the stamp. Al, from the Stamp Emporium called. Let me know if another Head of Freedom statue stamp ever became available. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that I bought back my own stamp. <laughs> Look, I'm going to pay you back, Dad. Every cent. Oh, you bet you will. Uh-uh. I don't bet anymore. Come here. Hello, the lad. Hee hoo! Hi, Steve. Why, it's chance, Addo. You sure you don't want to come down? Us? You actually talk somebody else into going with you? Oh, yeah. Well, I have a brand new polka partner. <laughs> Come on, Steve. We don't want to be late. I want it. Stop that. <laughs> They're not for you. They're for Laura. Laura, would you hand me that magazine, please? Here you go. What? <laughs> there was a bug on your head. <laughs> Check or take. Uh, Waldo. What's up? for two more days. No problem, Bob. I'll wait.
This is my life. A pig and a pest. <laughs> be 464. Please pull forward to the drive through window and have your money ready. And as always, the exact change would be appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> Very funny, Bozo. <laughs> Who was that, Steve? Nah, some clown. <laughs> Welcome to Mighty Weenie's What? Stop. Waldo? Is that you? Yeah, stop. <laughs> what, you wanna... Who? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Okay. 263 at the drive through window. Please pull forward and have your money ready. And as always, exact change would be appreciated. I know. So if you don't have a car, why didn't you come inside? I like talking to the big bun. <laughs> oh, get in here. <laughs> I meant through the door. What the fuck? Just give me the money. Don't be, don't be, don't be. Give me the money. Hey, Waldo. No. Hey, why'd you work? What? I thought you said things were going great at the tattoo parlor. <laughs> they were, but well, do you and mom? <laughs> I need a job, man. My family counts on my paycheck. We have nine Faldos at the dinner table for the sink. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Waldo. I'm gonna give you a job here at Mighty Wing. Really? Hey. Hi. <laughs> The least I can do is hire my best friend. Oh, gee. <laughs> uh, are you okay, Waldo? Yeah. It's just that I'm deeply touched, and I thank you so much. Okay, I'm, I'm just glad I could help out. When do I start? Tomorrow at noon. Oh. Uh... <laughs> you touched again? No, I ain't getting up that early. <laughs> Hey, Mom. <sighs> Want to hang out? Hey, yeah, we're in that the new lingo. Hang out? Sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, Maxine and KC should be here any second. We're gonna go. Oh, okay. Want to rap about hunks till they get here? <laughs> uh, oh, love to, but they're here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, Max, Casey, what's shaking? <laughs> oh, not much here. What's shaking with you? Mm, just my booty in the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I don't go, honey. It was just a joke. Well, hey, before we get started, you guys have to see a picture of my sister's baby. Ooh. Ooh. What a cutie. She's darling. Well, you know, Laura was a beautiful baby, too. Really? What happened? <laughs> Everywhere we went, people would stop and tell me what a beautiful baby I had. Well, listen, sit, 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 sit. She was so fattest little cheeks I'd ever seen. We used to call her chipmunk face. <laughs> you can't see it. Ma. Nobody wants to know what I look like, do. Yeah, me too. Just a girl. 
Now, Laura was the perfect baby girl, except we simply could not potty train her. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. She wouldn't put down a pacifier until she was six. Aww. <laughs> I'm not a... You know, I remember the first time I took Laura to the mall to see Santa Claus. She was scared to death. First, she wee-weed in his lap. <laughs> On one of them. <laughs> oh, but she was crazy, my Waldo. Waldo, you don't have to salute, okay? Okay. It's just that I'm so grateful for this job. You're the best friend a guy could ever have. Hey, buddies help each other out. Inventory for me? You betcha, boss. <laughs> uh, just read it. Cool. Buns. A whole bunch. <laughs> Cups. Not so many. Straws. Even less. Napkins. <laughs> that's a laugh. <laughs> Usually when you do an inventory, you're supposed to give specific numbers. Oh, man, I messed up again. No, no, no. It's your first day. You learn the ropes. Thanks, Eddie. You're a boss with a capital B-O. <laughs> Here. What are these? IOUs. Some people didn't have enough money to pay, so I insisted that they leave their name and number. <laughs> Will he make it? <laughs> Dan Druff? <laughs> Don't worry, they all promise to come back tomorrow. Al? <sighs> nope. I think I'm going to have to fire Waldo, Steve. You can't fire Waldo. He's our friend. I think we're going to need a new stove. And a floor to put it on. I'll miss Waldo. Hey, Dad! <laughs> Dad, you all right? I'm coming! That's a few more feet! <laughs> Woo! Great talk! Dad, you really should do your cool down exercises. Cool down. That would be going from here to the sofa. How you doing, son? <laughs> Uncle Carl? Huh? How come you get tired so easy? Well, I'm I'm weak from eating far too many. <laughs> yep. Time for me to increase the old pie intake. Want me to get your slice now? Oh, bless you, son. Bless you. Dad. Huh? I need advice. Here's some. Never go jogging in new underwear. <laughs> uh, I'll remember that. But actually, I have a problem at work. Uh-oh. What is it? I hired Waldo. <laughs> Waldo Faldo? <laughs> the guy that thinks Mount Rushmore was carved by lightning? <sighs> well, Dad, he really needed a job, and I wanted to help him out. Well, your heart was in the right place. Thanks, but Waldo is messing up big time. Fire him. But if I do, he'll be devastated. Any advice? Joe Miller. Who? Joe and I would... I love the work, but Joe just wasn't cut out for it. His feet would swell up, he was impatient with people, and he hated donuts. <laughs> so the... No. The lieutenant transferred him to the undercover unit as a mugging decoy. <laughs> Turned out once you put Joe in a dress and high heels, he couldn't be happier. I don't think Waldo would look too good in a mighty weenie skirt. No, son, that's not what I'm saying. You see, you are the restaurant manager. The job is to find out what your employees' strengths are and then figure out a way to utilize them. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a try. Thanks, Dad. Oh, dude. <laughs> 
discipline and got rotten when I get fed rotten. If that's the case, every time I face the rival, I can ride a storm that's longer than your Bible. Pages, broken pages, disposition. What's every time I saw Go girl. Mind you hurt yourself. <laughs> Lord, these new dancers are great, but have you ever tried the mashed potato? Potato. The great dance from the 60s. The 1960s? <laughs> Watch it. I may be old, but I'm quick. Okay. Come on, Lord, give it a try. <laughs> no way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ma. 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 Uh, we have important stuff to discuss. We do? Oh, well. Okay, honey. You all just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me show you one more dance. It's called a fucking chicken. <laughs> no! We chicken or any other stupid dance. Um, I just remembered I promised my mom I'd cook dinner tonight. And and I promised I'd eat it. <laughs> Laura. Ma, I was planning on asking you the same thing. What do you mean? Look, Ma. The next time my friends come over, I would appreciate would just leave us alone. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Oh, my cheek full of honey. Sweetie pie. Thanks, Wally Pop. Hey, as long as I'm the chef here, your food goes on my tab. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, see yours. <laughs> Gotta go, babe. Steve, tell me, doing. Max, he's a smash. Ever since Edo made him the cook, business has been booming. Waldo, hey, what'd you do to it? Put some honey in it. Now sweet and sauerkraut. <laughs> but what about the buns? I steam them, then toast them. Make some fluffy. But why do the weenies taste so much better? Ah, ah, ah. Chef Waldo Faldo does not reveal all though. <laughs> well, keep it up. It should be finished this food. Eddie. Yeah. Oh. What was that for? For not firing me. I was messing up real bad. But you stood by me and found me a job that I'm real good at. You're the best friend a guy could ever have in. I love you, buddy. Well, you've always been a great friend to me. The least I could do. Hey, Eddie. Think you can raise my salary 10 cents an hour? No. Why not? Because then you'd be making as much as me. Just driving around. Oh, Dad called. He said he's bringing home some barbecue ribs for dinner. Well, let's just hope there's some left when he gets here. <laughs> Mom, can we talk? Yeah. That's something we need to do. Ma, I am so sorry I flipped out. I don't know what got into me. I do. I was embarrassing you in front of your friends, wasn't I? No. A little, yeah. <laughs> Went over the line with the funky chicken. No, it's a great dance. It's just... <sighs> My friends came over to see me, and you sort of... Horn. <sighs> I bet Maxine and Casey think I'm a fool. No, they think you're cool. They do. Moms are more like you. And why did I get so upset? Because you're at a stage where not being embarrassed is the most important thing in your life. Really? Yep. It ranks just above. <laughs> I went through it, too. Did your mom embarrass you? Ooh, constantly. My sweet 16 birthday party was at a... 
My mother did something there that upset me for years. Really? What did she do? She had fun. <laughs> she rented a pair of skates and went out on the floor and skated with my boyfriend. They went backwards and even did some of those little twirly things. Well, that's cool. Yeah, everybody thought so except me. I was horrified. Well, I can... <laughs> Honey, I told all those baby stories about you because I'm proud of you. And I showed you those dances because I've been with you. I know, Mom. And I appreciate that. Friends. Best friends. <laughs> hey, Mom, that funky chicken again. <laughs> sure, put on the box. I bear. Ah, ah. I'll just fill you in while you finish that bite. The Department of Parks and Recreation of our fine, windy city is sponsoring a two one What do you say about that? Get out. Now, and out, this tournament could be a lot of fun. I mean, you're a terrific player, and I'm getting better all the time. Here, watch. No, what do you get if you win? Season tickets to the Chicago Bulls. Really? I'm in. Great! And we have a good chance, too. See, we buds have a bond. Our personal relationship allows us to communicate silently without words. <laughs> Although sometimes words are important. <laughs> I think we need a brighter light in the bathroom. I just spent a half an hour trying to get my stick deodorant to work before I realized it was a candle. <laughs> Laura, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just my whole life is over, that's all. Again? <laughs> Come on, what happened? Well, you see, I got invited to this really great party, right? The party. All the cool guys are going. You see, the thing is, the party doesn't start till 10, and Mom says I have to be home by midnight. I once had this problem, so I set all the clocks back a couple of hours before I left. <laughs> but don't you do that. Daddy, isn't there something you could do to fix this? Okay. I suppose important this party is to you, so you go ahead and stay out an extra hour. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll explain it to your mother when she comes home. Thanks. I'm too tired to argue. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta look through my closet and pick out something wild and trash. What? <laughs> Something warm and sensitive. <laughs> and we've been here forever. Yeah. Too bad the sign up table wasn't at this end. We'd be first in line. Hey, Online. Unless they move the table, in which case you just butted in. I'm gonna go procure an application form and a sharp number two pencil. So what's new, guys? My underpants. <laughs> hey man, that's Kenny Jackson. Yo, man, Kenny's a legend. I mean, nobody beats the spider. If he enters this tournament, we might as well go home. Good, because in 10 minutes, Mr. Ed comes on in Spanish. Hola, Wilbur! Hey, Eddie, what's going on? I'm just kicking it. Yeah, well, look, Jimmy Molly for this tournament, but he pulled his hamstring. I pulled a hamstring once, but all the slices fell off the bone. <laughs> and you must be Waldo. 
cool. Hey, you want me my partner? What? The spider himself? Yo, dog, I'm on it. All right, then, sign us up, and I'll see you Saturday. Hey, yo, uh, you want to put in a little practice time? What? <laughs> Great. Eddie, I'm no rocket. Wasn't Steve your partner? <laughs> oops. Oops. What oops? Uh, well, you see, Steve, I I ran into Kenny Jackson. The spider? Hmm, he's mighty. Don't you worry, partner. We'll whip him and his little dog, too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, you see, Steve, that's your partner, and so uh, I said, uh... What you said? Well, I... I said... Oh, well, what about me? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Steve, I didn't do it on purpose. I just got you. Oh, that's quite a pick-me-up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve, but you don't understand. The spider is fantastic with him. Well, you did, Edo. You killed our friendship. Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, nice to see you, too. I'm sorry, Carl. It's just that it's almost an hour past Laura's curfew, and I'm worried. Oh, honey, honey. Relax. Relax? Mm -hmm. Why? Well... I forgot to tell you, babe, but I told Laura she could stay a little longer tonight. You what? Well, yeah, I, I was going to tell you before I went to work this morning, but you were in the shower. Countermanded me? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I merely adjusted your decision. When one of us is supposed to back it up. Well, honey, that's true in most cases, but, uh... Sometimes one of us makes a wrong decision and I have to fix it. And just who determines that it's a wrong decision? Well, that would be the view. The patriarch. The husband. The big kahuna. Carl, you're this close to pulling my size nines out of your big kahuna. <laughs> I can't believe it. I tell the girl she can't go nowhere. He tell the other girl. Esther, my dear. Hi, Steve. Thanks for coming over. Oh, it's my role. It's so seldom I actually get invited. <laughs> Steve, I understand that you and Eddie had a falling out. Affirmative. We were going to be partners in a b-ball tournament, but he dumped me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But I just might have the right partner. Oh, really? Well, who is it? Do I know him? It's not a him. It's a her. A girl? Estelle, I consider myself a feminist and all, but... A girl? She's a pretty good player. Well, how do you know her? I met her at the... Ah, uh, well, just how old might she be? Steve, a woman over 50 never... <laughs> You're suggesting that I partner up with an elderly woman? That's right. Estelle, have you been spiking your... <laughs> oh, oh, that must be her. You do great with Grandmama. Grandmama? <laughs> oh, Estelle. See, other players have names like Cyclops, the Spider, and Gorilla Jam. And am I? <laughs> oh, this'll never work. <laughs> I baked the <laughs> Oh, this will work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Steve. Hi, Ghetto. So, what's going on? I'm here to play. Oh, so you got a partner. Well, that's great. So, we'll lose a team that with you. 
and my partner. She deserves to be treated like a lady. Lady? I should have worn my sports bra. Grandma, guys, your worst nightmare. Hey, you. Yeah? You're cute. Okay, everybody. The third annual... The third annual two-on-two -two tournament is about to start. First two teams on the court. Let's go. Good luck. Girdle's giving me a wedge. <laughs> Can I see that for a second? <laughs> so. Would you please tell your mother that we are out of baloney? Would you please tell your father that as long as he lives in this house with a baloney? <laughs> All right, that's it. I want my anniversary gift back. Too late, I already exchanged it. Well, it was a cheap gift. How do you do that? You always do this to me, Harriet. What do you mean I wasn't going to do it? I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to I hate it when you guys fight. Lord, take it easy. Well, Mom told me I couldn't stay out an extra hour. I should have just left it alone. Yes, you should have. But I didn't. I conned Dad into giving me what I well, wanted. Well, you didn't exactly con. Me. Didn't you? <laughs> what I did was wrong, and I have to be punished. I'm grounding myself for a week. But no, it's not no, no. weeks. <laughs> I know it seems harsh, but it's the only way I'll ever learn my lesson. <laughs> Is it my imagination, or is she raising herself?
all right? Twisting my knee. Oh, tough break. We win. Hold it. Steven, this judge should play for the final point. Oh, we you could be. <laughs> well, in that case, I'd just be watching you over here. Hey, Steve. He wanted to see. Yeah. You hungry? Thirsty? Can I get you anything? My goodness. Courtesy. Well, I better be careful. I wouldn't want to mistake it. I guess I had that one coming. Look, Steve, I'm, I'm really sorry I dumped you. Why'd you do it? I got greedy. I wanted those Bulls tickets so bad that I thought I had a better chance of getting them if Kenny was my partner. I see. A three-time loser. I lost a tournament, banged up my knee, and even worse, I lost a good friend. Me a friend? Well, it's not something we have to broadcast. <laughs> but yeah. Steve, will you forgive me? Tell you what, we'll discuss it on the way. On the way to where? To the Bulls game. It turns out that Grandma Ma just isn't a fan of the Chicago Bulls. For some crazy reason, she's nuts about the Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> so she said I could give her ticket to anyone I want to. And I decided to give it to my best friend, Eddie Winslow. Thanks, Steve. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> हेलो बंधुरा एस डी टी चैने अपन स्वागत हमें दीपिका चले अपन अनुराग छोआ सरियल आपडेट नहीं रूपा जख अनेक कष्ट पाए तक फानटूस जाना जो माँ तुम संगे विदेशे जा कू तुम्हें विदेशे रूपा और बाबा थे बड़ो डाक्त तरह फिर आसबे कलकता शहरे माँ के तीन एम छोटो खुजे पेलम ना बड़ो हुए आबाँ माँ के ठीक खुजे बेर करते पर छाड़ा पृथ्वी आपन क्यों नहीं हमार मायर का छोटो के बड़े हमें ओई बाड़ी नहीं ठीक तब हिंसुकुटू के लिए बाबा परिवार बाकी भलो थकते पर ना थे तो चलो से तुम्हारा देखे इले बोलो रूपा कान्ना कर फंडूस भावे जे मेटा जान समस्त कष्ट भूलिए दे से जान बड़ो होते भलो किचू होते फंडूस विदेशे जावर परिकल्पना आगे कर एक संगे चार जन के लिए ही जाए परिवार के को भाई से का झेड़े जाए ना और रूपा के हाथ धरे लाट्टू टेने नहीं जाए बोले दीदी चल तु चोखे जलमोज एकदम कान्ना करबी ना रूपा एयरपोर्ट अब्दि पहुँचे जाए से बार बार तार, तार मायर आदर कथा भलोबासार कथा मा स्कूले जावर समय टीफिन कर दी तो, खबर खाइए दीते कथागुलो तर मने पड़े से भावे जो माँ तुम्हें कथाओ पेलम ना तुम ए रकम करा चले जो पर माँ जान तुम ठीक फिर आसमी तुम्हें खुजे पा से दिन का कब जे आसमी जानी ना तर अपेक्षा करी विदेशे चले गलम ये थकबना और फिर एस जान तुम्हें पाई यही आशाय चले गलम इरपर रूपा फानटूस एम ही बिंदी लाट्टू सबा मिले विदेशे चले जाए फानटूस निजे लेबर ही खाटे बिंदी कर्म कर और दूज इनकाम लाट्टू एवं रूपा के भलो स्कूले लेखा पढ़ा करा तर भाई बोर भविष्य उज्जवल कर तर जान को क्षति ना से दिक्ट नजरे रखे फांडूस रूपा के कख कष्ट पे देवे ना निजे मेर जैगे बसिए लाट्टू जेमन तरह निजे रूपाओ तरह तेम ही 
কোনোভাবেই তাই রূপাকে ফেলে রেখে যায়নি নিজের সঙ্গে একসঙ্গে নিয়ে বিদেশ ভ্রমণের চেষ্টা করল আর সেখানে গিয়ে রূপার নতুনভাবে ডাক্তারি পড়াশোনা শুরু করবে ডাক্তার হবে বড় এবং নিজের জীবনে ভালো কিছু করে তার বাবা সূর্যকে দেখিয়ে দেবে রূপার ছোট থেকে স্বপ্ন ছিল ডাক্তার হবার সেই স্বপ্ন সে এবার পূরণ করবে তার মাকে কথা দেওয়া কথা রাখবে সে কি হতে চলেছে অনুরাগের ছোঁয়া সিরিয়ালের পরবর্তী টুইস্টে রূপা বিদেশে চলে গেলে সূর্যের থেকেও বড় ডাক্তার হয়ে ফিরবে রূপা জীবনে অনেক কষ্ট পেয়েছে তাই সে চায় না তার মায়ের যে কষ্ট অসুস্থতা সেগুলো কারো হোক তাই রূপা বিনা পয়সায় অনেকের ট্রিটমেন্ট করবে জীবনে ভালো কিছু করবে তার মা যেন ফিরে এসে দেখতে পারে তার রূপা জীবনে অনেক বড় হয়েছে তার রূপার জীবনটা গুছে গেছে এমন কি দীপার সমস্ত স্বপ্নগুলো রূপা পূর্ণ করেই ছাড়বে তার জন্য সে বিদেশে গেছে এরপরে ফিরে এসে আদৌ কি দীপাকে পাবে জানতে চোখ রাখতে হবে আমাদের চ্যানেলে পাশে থাকা বেল আইকনটি অবশ্যই করে ক্লিক করুন